Hey there, all <laughs> you guys and gals! This is Comic Stravaganza, the D and Johnny Show. You ready? This, this is the D and Johnny Show. This is the greatest show you know. Some the people started watching it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue watching it forever just because this is the D and Johnny Show. Well, <laughs> oh, hey guys and gals, this is the D and Johnny Show, the really big show, and I am your co-host, the comic book loving, time traveling, diesel punk prophet of pop culture, the artist also known as Big Daddy <laughs> Cool, you can call me Johnny, and of course, this Barty. lovely vision, The D original Barty. geek girl. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And we are back to talk. News of pop culture. <laughs> We're back to talk. And, yeah. So listen. Yeah. But uh, before we get any further, we got to thank our sponsor, Comic Bento. If you love graphic novels and you want to get uh, a gift in your mailbox every month, like a like a like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, um, or just say, hey, I need a gift. Yeah. Because I'm awesome. But the, well, that's why I do it. <laughs> I do it because I need a gift every month, and uh, so that's why I subscribe. But uh, 50, uh, 50 bucks worth of graphic novels for under twenty bucks, um, and they're it's cool stuff. Cool stuff. Mycomicbento.com. Go there and uh, check it out. So, um, D. Yes. What's what's on the outline for tonight? Ah! Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I totally panic when it comes to all this. Oh, all right, no, that's all right. That's all right. You know what? Let's let's talk about what's coming up next this weekend. Is Hypericon. That's right. And where is it? Uh oh, I didn't. It's in Nashville. Out. The Millennium Maxwell House. That's right. Yay! That's right. Yay! Yay, D! <laughs> Yay! And when are the dates? Oh, um, June seventeenth through June nineteenth. That's right. Which is. This coming up weekend? That's right. Father's Day weekend, Hypericon. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be epic. Awesome. This is going to be maybe the best event ever in Nashville history, Father's Day weekend. Um, it's it's going to be really cool. So what is Hypericon? Hypericon is a kind of a, a, well, it's a geek culture and speculative fiction convention. Which is just a... Fancy <laughs> way to say it's a Comic Con. It's a Comic Con. Um, well, it's more than that. There are going to be some awesome writers, like novelist writers, some awesome artists, um, and we got some great programming. We got a ton of steampunk, diesel punk, costuming panels. Uh, we got a panel on um, Agent Carter. We've got a panel on the Legend of Zelda games. We've got. We've got all kinds of cool, cool stuff happening. There's, there's, there's a luau party on Saturday night. Ooh. Or no, is that Friday night? Friday night is the luau party. I was trying to think by, of some Hawaiian music, but I can't. Followed think of it right by, now. followed by the burlesque cabaret, that's hosted by Big Daddy Cool, and stars Crystal Star, Go Go Incognito, Alabaster Glory, and Marie Merlot. Show. Epic, epic, epic show, epic, 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 and um, and uh, what else? Uh, well, you can get your tickets. They're forty five dollars for the weekend. Yeah, twenty dollars per day. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you can get a day pass for twenty bucks or forty five dollars for the whole weekend, which is a bargain. Because yeah, the, well, didn't you say it runs like pretty much like what was it? Almost twenty four hours. Yeah. yeah, from three. No. Yeah. Yeah, three on Friday till four on Sunday. Yeah. I mean, like. Like, just keeps going? Yeah, yeah. Like it doesn't stop? No. No, people will be up all night gaming, you know, partying. There will be room parties. It'll be crazy town in the Millennial Maxwell House Hotel. And I just popped a top on a cool one. <laughs> Cream soda, ladies and gentlemen. Cream soda. So, uh, we got some comments here on Facebook. Uh... Lavana Deal says, hooray, take your dad to see the geeks. <laughs> yeah, that's right, because it's on Father's Day. Yeah, 
Well, that's okay. Yeah, the, the, you can do that. We got a Goblin King ball on Friday night. Or Saturday night, rather. Okay. Saturday night yeah. Goblin King ball. No, that sounds cool. Yeah. And uh, Dee's Facebook has a small frame. <laughs> huh? She's going in and out of the frame. I was okay, like, so. wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. You gotta get yeah, closer stay on close Facebook. To me, baby. Um, so <laughs> You're not supposed to read that out loud. A Goblin King <laughs> ball. Well, I don't know what. This is not your first show. I'm trying to figure. We've got a new director, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, a new producer who's helping us out. She's doing a great job, but we're getting used to it because, you know, we've been fly by the seat of our pants for so long, and now she's like, you gotta be organized. You gotta be. Prepared and you know that's that's, <laughs> that's that's new for us, right? Organized and prepared. It's, what does that mean? It's part of our charm that we don't know what we're gonna do, right? <laughs> well, that's why we have we have notes and yeah, yeah. So anyway, Father's Day weekend. Uh, high I feel like I'm gonna end up pushing you out. This is the D show. <laughs> well, some people would consider that a big improvement. Um, how do you? How do they get tickets? Uh, you go online, hypericon.net. Are they available at the door? Yes. That's right. That's right. But go online, get your tickets online ahead of time. Make sure that it's that you can get them because it might sell out. It could happen. It could happen. This is going to be a huge event, huge weekend. And if you're in the Middle Tennessee area, you don't want to miss it. Uh, I'm going to be hosting the Cosplay Showcase as Big Daddy Cool. $500 grand prize. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 epic. It's awesome. I so, guess I wouldn't be, I'd be disqualified. Yeah. Conflict of interest. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So uh, you guys watching us on Facebook, post your comments, questions, uh, concerns. We don't take prayer requests, but you know how that goes. Um, all right, Dee, bring up our outline for tonight's show. We got we got a lot to cover. There was uh, some pretty cool news stories out this uh, week, and so I just I cherry picked a couple that I thought would be interesting. Um, so interesting. Yeah. So I hey, not I, interesting, but no, interesting. Uh, we're in Tennessee. <laughs> interesting. We're, we're in Nashville. <laughs> It's Anderson. It's Anderson. It's one syllable. Anderson. <laughs> um, so I picked this story just for you. This is a story about Archie Comics. Betty, Betty and, and Veronica. Veronica. They are launching their own clothing line. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's exciting. It is exciting. <laughs> it is exciting. So, you know, I, I don't know why they've never done this before. You know, they should totally give me some of their clothes to wear on this show. You know what? We might totally be able to make that happen. I would totally support that. Archie Comics, we need to outfit D. Barty. You're going to get an email from me tomorrow. <laughs> and a follow-up phone call from our new director. <laughs> Lavana is her name. Lavana. Oh, I like that. Her, her last name isn't Trump, though. Lavana, Ivana, Trump. Oh. Lavana. I like it, though. Lavana. It's, it's exotic. All right, what else do we Don't have? Don't suck on? up to the producer. Well, that's all right. I need her to work for us, so, you know, I'm going to suck up to her. Hey, you just have to pay her, man. She'll work on you, too. <laughs> yeah, well, have you seen the have you seen the moths fly out of my wallet? All right, what's our next story? Betty and Veronica clothing line is going to be cool. We're going to get some clothes okay. for D. Barty. So. I don't know. I don't know how to get back to it. Oh, There's no back button. How do you oh, get back hold on, to it? Hold on. D. Barty is struggling with technology tonight. <laughs> I don't know how Apple works. That'll work. Here, go back. Go no, back. no, where's the mail? That's what I'm saying. Here, I had it pulled no, up that's here. that's Safari. I know. That's where I had it pulled up at. Oh, my God. You're killing me, dude. Killing me! Look. All right. Got it. All right. This year is Wonder Woman's 70th, 75th <laughs> anniversary. I you probably could see that, but... And uh, she should, you know, a lady should never show her age, but, uh, <laughs> here, that'll fix that problem right there. Um, a lady should never show her age, but Wonder Woman is 75 years old this year. Wow. 
And, and, and what is DC and Marvel, and, or, or Warner Brothers rather, doing to, uh, to celebrate this? Something awesome, something epic. What is it? I don't know. I didn't read the article. I sent it to you so you could read it and tell us. But you didn't send it to me in time. I was busy today, so I couldn't read it. I need well, more than of, a couple lot, hours. A lot of, lot of Wonder Woman stuff coming out. Um, she uh, launched in October of 19... 41? Yep. Oh, wow. In All-Star Comics number 8, it was a backup story meant to uh, meant to test her appeal. You know, they, they weren't even, like, sure that it was going to work. Don't we have a Wonder Woman thing? Yeah, right here. Oh, right There's here. Wonder Woman. Wonder Here's Wonder Woman. Woman. It's Bombshell Wonder Woman. This is the classic George Perez uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Hey, I know who that is. Do, 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 George Perez, I met him. I know. Do, 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 he loves me. Wonder Woman, all the world has waited for you. And the wonders that you do. Yeah, I don't know. Stop a bullet cold and... I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. I've never even heard it. <laughs> Nash Vegas, what does this say? Nash Vegas. Philip Clark says we're in Nash Vegas. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, Nash Vegas, baby. All right, what else we got? Oh, you guys, did you hear this? Holy crap! Phoenix Comic Con drew over one hundred thousand people to become officially the largest comic book con attendance in America. What? Yeah. So let's see, when was that? That was uh bigger than San Diego? Yeah, yeah, it is. And um it's a record setting uh Confluza weekend. It was June fifth through the fifth at uh, Phoenix Comic Con. It drew June fifth through the fifth. Through the sixth. Okay. <laughs> June third through the fifth. You're confusing me. Dude. You said June fifth through the fifth. Wait, wait. I like that was one day. Wait. Wow. Wait. Math is hard. <laughs> Only a few of you get that joke. Do you know what joke I'm talking no. about? Yeah, yeah. Well, our 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 competitor posted an episode last week with the title "Math is Hard" with the two female co-hosts. You know, it was the main image trying to figure out math. It was. I just gotta say, you know. Let's Don't worry about that. Negative stereotypes, but anyway, <laughs> Phoenix Comic Con, one hundred and six thousand plus people, or two hundred and sixteen, depending on how you're counting. There were there were probably a lot of people who got in free. Kids, um, maybe military. Um, when you factor in guests and vendors and all of that. Gotcha. So, but 106,000 plus people bought a ticket to get into Phoenix Comic Con. That is huge. Those are huge numbers. And um, it officially breaks the record. Awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, those are kind of the big stories that are happening this week. I just thought I'd bring them up and, uh, you know, comment on those. And, uh, D, you got anything? I don't ever have anything. <laughs> I don't know what to have. It's, it's, I, look at my water. Check it out. I got Iron Man on my water. Isn't that awesome? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Iron Man <laughs> Iron Man's on, on my water. water. Oh, jeez. You know, we've only got f four viewers now, and I got to I gotta guess it's because you guys are watching the NBA Finals. Turn off the TV. <laughs> Turn watch, on the internet. Watch what's really important. We all know Cleveland's going to lose tonight and the finals will be over. All right. So, hey, I got I to gotta share this. So, this past weekend, I was at River City Comic Expo in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm looking at your purple. You're all matching. It's I, so, I like, stylish. You know, and we got a little blue thing here. What's, what's yeah, doing that? That's, that's the contrast. It's my pocket handkerchief. Yeah. That, In case I cry, that came give from, me your hanky. That came from Gentleman's Box. <laughs> um, anyway, River City... Gee, thanks, John. Yeah, well, Always I, there for me, I man. I knew you were faking. So, <laughs> River City Comic Expo, um, I got to 
my, my booth was right beside Rob Davis. At first, I thought you said your boob. Booth. I was like, okay. my table. My 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 exhibitors area. I sat right next to Rob Davis. Rob Davis is a great artist, and uh, one of the projects that he worked on was Star Trek Deep Space Nine from uh, Malibu Comics, and uh, that was my favorite Star Trek series. And oh, yeah? so we're talking, and I said, "Yeah, Deep Space Nine was my favorite series." And so he reaches into his box of goodies and pulls out this little gem. Deep Space Nine number six, which he did all of the interior art. So he pulls it out, he signs it, and he gives it to me. Oh. Yeah, Rob Davis is a cool Aww. dude. He's with Airship 27 Publishing. They are, along with my publisher, Pro Se Productions, one of the uh, leaders of uh, New Pulp Publishing. Okay. And so uh, he gave me this. And I got to tell you this. Rob Davis is probably one of the best artists I've ever seen in terms of doing likenesses. I mean, the, the this looks exactly like the character. I mean, his his drawing of of the faces. Now I know that. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, oh. this guy. The Ferengi. Yeah, yeah, Quark. Quark the Ferengi. Great work. It's great artwork. And uh, Rob was an awesome guy. Go check out Airship Twenty Seven Productions. And um, if you're into if you're into uh, Sh Sherlock Holmes stories, they are the most prolific publisher of new Sherlock Holmes stories. So uh, check them out at um, Airship Twenty Seven. You know what? I do have something new. I have something. What? I just thought about it. What? I just finished watching uh, the miniseries Roots. Have you seen that? It's been a long, long, long time. No, 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 no. They did a new one. They did a new one? Yeah, Roots? yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was four episodes, I think. They were like two when? hours long. It's what? on the History Channel. Really? Mm -hmm. The last one just came on like a few days ago. I finished was it a remake? Yeah, yeah. Really? But it was so good. And like I never, I never watched Roots, and so you know maybe that's why I thought it was so good. But I mean, it was great. It was great. You should watch it. Well, I, I saw Find the original the back in the day. You know that was a huge event on NBC. Well, this was, was a huge, huge event. They did like it was on no, the no, 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 no. You know you don't understand. Back in the day. Back in the day when, when there was a miniseries on one of the only three networks, it was huge. Okay. Everybody <laughs> saw Roots. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I, see, this was on the History Channel. I, I don't... Well, they did a replay of it on Lifetime, I think. Well, I don't have cable, dear. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm go, go to Hulu or Netflix yeah. or whatever. And but watch see, it. I didn't even hear about it. You know why I didn't hear about it? Well, they advertise it everywhere. All the stars on were cable. on The View. All the stars. I mean, they were on premium networks. You, it was all over the internet. Where have you been hiding? I don't watch TV. You should watch this. I don't watch TV. You should watch this. I am watching Houdini and Doyle on uh, Hulu. That's an awesome series. Harry Houdini and you know Conan Arthur, uh, Arthur Doyle. I started watching that. Yeah. Yeah, and then I quit. I love the way Harry <laughs> Houdini is being portrayed. He's a smarmy smartass. I love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Anyway, um, hey, Father's Day is coming up. You guys can take your father to Hypericon, or you know what else they could do? What? You know what makes a great Father's Day gift? What? This book <laughs> right here. Tales from the Flip Side. By this author, John <laughs> Pica. I, you know, I've, I've only read it a couple of times myself, but everyone tells me it's the best book they've ever read this year. So, it's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can get it as an uh, iBook uh, or uh, ebook on iTunes. iBook? <laughs> You can get it as a as an audiobook from Audible Trial Audible uh, Audible dot com or through Amazon. You Tales from the Flip Side here. Let, let's make sure they can see the cover. Tales from the Flip Side. It's got 
time travel, vampire Nazis, super powered showgirls, um, and, and and the final defeat of the elder god Cthulhu. It's an autobiography. It's it's a true story. It's my autobiography. And um, did you have a mini series coming out about that soon? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a short film. Short film. Tales from the Flip Side, Big Daddy Cool in the 21st Century, mm -hmm. and you're one of the main characters. Oh my gosh! <gasps> yes, we filmed some of it. We're going to film another scene this Friday night at Hypericon. You're not in that scene. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't hardly walk. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, you're not in that scene. Um, it's, it's a final scene with Santiago Cirillo from The Walking Dead. Ooh. He plays a character. And uh, supermodel Tina Vita plays a character, and uh, another great actress model, Victoria Crawford, plays a character. It's going to be great. Ooh, save a book for Jamie, Phil Clark says. I well, don't yes. watch TV neither. Yes, I will, Phil. Yeah, he doesn't. You know why he doesn't watch TV? Because he watches us. No, he's awesome. because Phil is cool as all get out. Phil is a cool, cool guy. And if anyone who's ever met Phil Clark, they know what I'm talking about. Tennessee Ghostbusters, baby. But da 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 da. I'm pretty sure I've met you. Have I met you, Phil? Pretty yeah, sure yeah, you did I I at, at uh, Clarksville. Yeah. Yep. yep, you sure did. So uh, awesome. Well, hey, D, guess what time it is? Um. It's time for new comic. Yum. So a uh, couple of things. First of all, I stopped by the comic book shop. <laughs> on the way here. And everybody just lost all respect for John. And um, I picked up one of the new books this week. <laughs> it's not on uh, Dee's outline, but because uh, I knew I was going to be picking it up. Uh, Star Wars Han Solo number one. This is going to sell out, ladies and gentlemen. You need to go ahead and pick it up right now. Because uh, you won't be able to get a first edition after this week. Um, Han Solo, everyone knows the character, right? You know who Han Solo is, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't, you've been under a rock. Marjorie Liu is the writer. Mark Brooks is the artist. And um, I, I, gotta, I got something to admit. I have to admit something. I'm not a huge Han Solo fan. <gasps> He's actually my least uh, favorite of the series. Oh, no. Yeah, I just, I just never was. But I'll tell you what really encourages me. I'm going to hold this up to the camera. Down here in the corner I do sound effects. is a really cool <laughs> blue-skinned character who bears a striking resemblance to a certain... Expanded universe slash legends character that everyone is begging Lucasfilm to make canon and to bring into the story. He, he, he even has some kind of royal military style clothes on. Can anyone guess who it might be? Facebook land, post your comments right now. If you know who that might be, post your comments and click share. So, um, that now, awesome. now, 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 do now. it now, do it, do it, do it. That was the Emperor. Do it. You remember the Emperor from, from the Star Wars saga? You'd have to refresh me. Take your weapon, strike me down with all your hatred. Oh, I think that's the guy I couldn't understand a single word he was saying. I was like, mm, okay. You. And now, Jedi, you will die. Anyway, all right. Speaking of Star Wars, this is Steam Wars. Steam Wars. Look at this outfit. Yeah, she we'll show, show them. This is Princess Legends, the next chapter in the Steam Wars comic series from Antarctic Facebook, Press. Facebook. Yeah. Philip says no clue. Lavana says Blues Clues. Blues Clues. We are going to play Blue's Clues, because it's a really great game. Yeah. Oh, you know that one. <laughs> you know that one. <laughs> you know what to do. Sit down in our thinking chair and think. Think. 
<laughs> Cause when we use our mind, we take a step at a time, we can do anything that we want to do. <laughs> Seymour's Princess Legends is out Teach this week. Teach you not to write comments. <laughs> I got mail. It's really swell. What is that? Oh, oh, here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Philip Clark, you rock. Look, he did it with me. Mail! <laughs> Wow, what's the next step this week? <laughs> oh, hey, this, hey, this one, is perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm reading. Uh, Twilight Zone, The Shadow. This has been a great series by Dynamite. If you love The Shadow, if you love Twilight Zone, this is a perfect mashup. This is issue number three, so you can run out and get the uh, first two. It's really easy to do. Um, so, so do that. Go out, get The Shadow, Twilight Zone. Ah, now. This is going to be another huge sellout book. I didn't pick this up, pick this one up, because you know, again, moths flying out of my wallet. But um, yeah. Yeah. What sound are moths? Oh, who? Levana says, "Who is it? Who is the blue skin?" No, don't show that yet. Oh. Who is the blue blue skin character in Han Solo? It could be, or at least a member of the same race as. Ready? Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh... No, act excited. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it could be Grand Admiral Thrawn or at least a member of his race. And if it's at least a member of his race, it means that he could potentially... Ladies and gentlemen on Facebook, <laughs> this... Back is the miracle of broadcasting live. So we're going to back up two seconds, and we're going to show one more time. Issue number one, Believe, Vote Loki. Vote Loki! This is going to sell out. It's going to be a huge book this week. Go get it, especially all of you locophiles. Locophiles? I just made that word up. That sounds scary. You mm -hmm. shouldn't say that. That sounds like pedophiles. Well, no, that file is lover, and Loki, loca, files? bibliophile, have you never heard that term? That's what you call a book lover, is a bibliophile. I like it. All right, last but not least, I picked this one out. It's just not for last. No, it is last. Because you don't know that one? Yeah, it, I, all I know is it's a Captain America graphic novel. Look, Captain There's, America graphic novel. I can't remember the title of it, though. It's a new gra graphic novel, Captain America, World War II. Anyway, um, this strawberry is... Strawberry Shortcake. Do your, do your little girls watch Strawberry yeah. Shortcake? Are yeah. they into it? Yeah. Each cover is is a scratch and sniff scented cover. That is so cool. Yeah. I love Strawberry Shortcake as a kid. That's issue, Rainbow Bright. Issue number miss. three. They're only on issue number three. Go get one and two and three this week for you and your girls. And hey... Here's a thought. Maybe Dee will read some comics. <gasps> you know what? I, I think I need to sign up for a bento box. I really do. Because it's hard for me to get out and go to a comic book shop. So if I signed up for a bento box, then they can mail them to me. Yeah, that and would be a great them. idea. Yeah. That's what, and you know what? People watching should do that too. Yeah. And they can do it at my bento. That you know, was my, my comic bento. You're right. You know, I'm. I, I've You're had, just not feeling it today. I'm right? not feeling You're it. Just you, like, I'm, I'm all over the map tonight. I, you know what? I think I may have had a heart attack earlier today. <laughs> is what it is. You know, so. Oh, is that all? So yeah, so just I'm a little heart attack. I'm a little under the weather today, um, which is which. You know, which is kind of strange because I ride a bike several miles a day. You know, I exercise every night. I eat well. But I don't know. I, I today I couldn't breathe. I was lightheaded. My chest was hurting. Did you, you know, miss me? I, I did miss you a little bit. I did. That could be it. That could be it. That's so. Oh. Mycomicbento.com. <laughs> Actually, people at work were genuine, genuinely concerned. They they were like, Well, I was 
concerned, or we were concerned when yeah. you walked in. You just like me. I, I, I've not felt good today. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Feel pretty I'll, good to me. I'll, I'll get over it. I'll get over but it. Hello, sound effects. But I'm <laughs> oh, was that a joke? <laughs> We got anything else, D? No. On this week's edition, this week's episode? I don't think so. All right. All right. Well, with that, send us your email, comicstravaganza at gmail.com. Oh, 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 we need everybody's feedback about changing the name of the show. What, we're going to change the name? Yes, yeah, stop it. If. We are? If. Are you sure? <laughs> How can you be so sure? <laughs> No, actually, we have been talking about it. We've been it. talking about it. I just wanted to get your feedback, people. What do you think? So what do you guys think, if you're watching either on Facebook or live or on YouTube, post it in the comments either on our Facebook page or in the comments on YouTube. If we were to change the name from Comic Extravaganza to something else. And what are your suggestions? The D and Johnny Show, The Really Big Show... The this, really big comic show. <laughs> comic pop. I, I don't know. Um, think think of some ideas. And, and if we come up with a really killer diller Killer name diller! That is, that is the right name. I like it. We could change it. Now would be the time to do it. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're, we want your suggestions. And we will totally send you a prize package. That's right. That's right. I've got... I've including got, my lipstick. Whoops, I'm just kidding. Her, I'm just kidding. her used lipstick. <laughs> and there are some fans watching right now that are typing all of a sudden. <laughs> I like this name. Uh, can you send me your used lipstick? <laughs> I live in my mom's basement. Hey, don't but, discourage us. What? Stop. Huh? We like it. <sighs> uh, I, I really like D. Um. Anyway, uh, you know. Anyway, um, why are we changing the name? We might be changing the name because Comic Extravaganza, although it sounds cool, it sounds fun, it's long, and apparently people don't know how to spell it. So they have a hard time finding it online. So we're looking for something maybe shorter, simpler, easier to remember, easier to find. And um, yeah, so we need your input. Comment on the Facebook feed. On Twitter at Live Comics. Ooh, that would be awesome. Yeah, Thrawn. Jamie Lee says she, it would be awesome to have Grand Admiral Thrawn. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Give us your suggestions. We'll pick the best one we like, and whichever one we pick, you're going to get a big prize package. I mean, big. Big. Dee's going to come over to your house. She's going to give you hugs and kisses. No, that's not going to happen. We'll give you prizes and cash. I'll send you there kisses. is no cash. I'll, I'll kiss a letter and send it to you. Actually, you, that's a great idea. She will kiss the letter that comes with your prize package. <laughs> so you can have her DNA and clone her in the basement oh, with, your, with your erector set. All right. Well, that's <laughs> it for this week on the D and Johnny Show. Brought to you by the Comic Extravaganza Network. And that's it. If you like the show, tell two, three hundred of your closest friends and family to watch the show. And until the next time... We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. 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 <laughs>